All right, loser's final setup for you guys. Not Pit versus Yellow Kirby. Uh, Sheik versus Yellow Kirby, but it's fine. Um, you guys no. know. You guys, you guys can see in the screen down here who they're playing. So the, the, the icons are the icons are just <laughs> just cosmetic. Now, ironically, Triple R Morn is domain in this matchup. They did see. Sheik. They did see earlier today. This is how Nameless got into losers. This yeah. is a run back. This Ooh, was uh, back. look at me doing the TO thing right here. This was losers. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Winner semis. Mm -hmm. They last saw each other. Was it uh, two o two one? It was two o. It was a flat, easy. Ooh. Nameless went Diddy Kong. Um, mm. Game two, but Randall. Did. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Dunzo. That choice. Can you? You're good. All right. <laughs> so, uh, do you think they'll just go to Smashville? I do. I think they'll go yeah. to Smashville, and I'll be bored by it, and yeah. that's okay. I, okay, for those of you who don't know me, or for those of you who know me, you know that I've always been a big fan of crazy stages. I mean, mm -hmm. the first LLs I ran had nine stages, and they were all very, I mean, many of them were very unorthodox. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the five standards were there, but I just get bored. Like, why would you take, let's just, don't go to Smashville anymore. Have a little bit of flavor. Smashville ha is not, is, harder next Smashville's time. not a neutral stage. It's <laughs> none of none of the starter stages are neutral. I hate the word neutral stage, because none of these stages are neutral. Yeah, they, they definitely benefit certain characters over others. Smashville's side blast zones are so close. Yep. Even if you're not on Jeffrey, the moving platform, even if you're standing on the right-hand right side of the stage, the blast zones are so close. Yep. Then you just, like, horizontal-based characters, like Peach, mm -hmm. have a way better time than vertical kill-based characters. Exactly. Which is a reason I go to of Smashville. Of course, no. To yeah, take your then. Triple R, vertical kill based. I think. I think unless. Oh yeah. You can. Maybe I'm wrong about this, but I, I'm thinking that most of his kills probably come from down smash, or back air. Oh, let's do maybe not. For example, okay. I, you know, eat my words. So early on this game in 20 seconds in, we already have 84% on Triple R. Nameless doing crazy chic things. The Walrus not amused. Um, <laughs> ooh, good trip to throw. Everyone else very amused. Interesting. Ooh, did it swing it? Yes! Oh, no, Mummy good. Kirby. All right, Mummy Kirby. Let's this is go. great because what happens is Kirby now has a great way yeah. of dealing with Nameless's running away. Yeah. You just chuck some goals and call it a light. I feel like this is the one. Wow, um, not a trump punish. That's something that Nameless, I don't, you need to take your trump punish. If you're going for a trump and you think you're going to get it, you need to back it. Your character has it. It's a given. Right. Kirby weighs four pounds. <laughs> you might actually kill. More than four ounces. They took away your back back air kill. But in this case, there we go. Wow, great. Yeah, see, that is very good too. Oh, just, an ooh, amazing ledge roll. It seemed to be, okay. Something for Triple R did there really interesting. Was he was standing near the edge when when Nameless hit the ledge. Triple R thought, all right, he sees me close. He's not, he's gonna try and get away as fast as he can. Rolled in. Triple R rolls back up, smashes. This is something that Rabs do all the time. Welcome. But <laughs> you will. Um, phenomenal read, phenomenal bait uh, yes. by Triple R for being close to the ledge and then backing away. Great use of needles, just everything. And now Nameless has to respond and yeah. say, I need to get a kill, something this entry. That was a weird. Yeah, I thought he was charging something, but that was needles. It's hard to tell when needle when Kirby's charging needles or throwing needles because he doesn't have hands. <laughs> he just kind of like shakes. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a scary. Had oh. Triple R jumped or tried to go up early, he might have been hit by the upbeat last radius, but he was not. Living to 142, which is obscene for Kirby. Um, forward tilt will kill. Oh, oh. that was strange. Okay, it, it uh, works. It was a good fake out. A good juke, as it were. <laughs> Down throw will not combo with anything. Just Catch guard. Ooh, bouncing nice fish bouncing. won't kill. Wow. wow. Can we talk about how bouncing fish? Great. It was across the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Okay, it did kill. Mm. I mean, ultimately, it did ultimately. kill. Whatever. Did he just, like, run out of jobs? Or? I don't know. Well, we got Sheik Kirby back. That was Right that was away. Easy. That was, like, One of those things that by <laughs> Nameless to just stand there like that. Command grabs are hard, though. If you're not used to yeah, playing against true. character command grabs, I think about Wario's bite. If you, if you play a Wario who just uses bite constantly, ooh, he's going to jab release, and it's going to put Nameless in a bad spot. Didn't capitalize on it. Jab release. Oh, oh. No jab release there. Jab release, sorry. Jab release. Jab release. Jab release. Going for the mix-ups, I think, favoring that. For sure. Forward air would have killed there had the last hit connected. Kirby's forward air getting buffed in a recent patch. Doing last hit during a considerable more knockout now. Ooh, Ooh back air nice should take it. Game air. one. Nice answer. In Randall's words, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Like, beautiful it's like cover girl. <laughs> Sheik is whatever Ganondorf? It's just, you know, it's a really right. interesting dynamic. Sheik is whatever Ganondorf? No, like Sheik is like, for Triple R, Sheik is whatever, but Ganondorf he has uh, a tough time with. Yeah. I didn't really finish that thought. My bad. Okay. It's been a long time. Anyway, uh, going into game two, um, I don't see Nameless switching to any of his other characters. I don't think there's any that would really favor him. 
After was Omadou. Mm. I just... I would have liked to have seen Diddy Kong, but... Three, two, Duck Hunt? One, okay. Go! So the standard triple R tirade against Duck Hunt is that he doesn't like Duck Hunt because people can just run away. And Sheik is run away incarnate. Right. Um, so I don't know that... I mean, it was a good counter pick. Obviously, triple R didn't ban it. I'm presuming triple R banned... Oh god, I don't know. Town and City? I don't really know. Maybe. Um, Dreamland, Dreamland, maybe? Land. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's interesting that he didn't ban this or that... Oh wow, okay, didn't hold on the command grab. Had he helped the command grab, Nameless would have ran right into it. Weird that Nameless ran in in the middle of Inhale as if to say, I know you're going to stop. So good good awareness on Nameless's part. Unless it was an accident, but still good awareness on Nameless's part. Nothing's that an accident in Smash Brothers. Um, soon to be at Evo 2016. Get excited for Ooh, nice. That's one of the things about Duck Hunt that's hard is that you can be sitting on a platform and feel pretty safe, but then she has all these weird mix-up options to cover the, the branches. Of yeah. What I'm really liking about Nameless's play um, in this game is he's focusing on a lot more of a bait and finish approach. Mm -hmm. I feel like... Oh um, my god. Oh. Here we but will the read okay. crumble? You're going to stay on the tree. Stay on the tree. Just stay, just, just stay on the tree. Yeah. You don't need to actually go down. You have the lead. Why are you approaching? <laughs> Don't approach when you have up smash will other up, sorry up will kill yeah. but still here's a tip for all you cheek mains who want to go to duck hunt <laughs> the minute you get the lead and you're playing as a character that doesn't really want to jump up the cage you're not on the tree mm -hmm. play lane that's how you win yep as a character that has a phenomenal evasion game like Sheik, if you pick Duck Hunt, you're committing yeah. to a certain kind of playstyle. <laughs> you're already playing Sheik, might as well. Now, he we got the kill, and so he obviously did work out for him. But, yeah. ooh, Still, interesting chase there for the grab. Didn't quite get it. Misjudging Sheik's roll on it looked like. Um, both players having a really hard time punishing roll-ons, except for the last game when Triple R. You know, that's it out of the park. Oh, oh, okay. Name was hoping to get an up smash read out of the rock. The rock falling just to his left. Maybe just a misjudgment, but there's no Daxes in this game, so. I think Nameless is um, starting to take your advice to heart a little bit. Um, he's definitely playing much more than I mean, can you see? Right can now. you see how little he's committing to yep, this? Yep, exactly. Spot dodge, yeah. run away. Literally, yep. spot dodge, run away was the playbook just then. Roll. And of course, this will annoy the hell out of Triple R. Yeah, sitting there. exactly. Not wanting to chase people. Wow, okay. a meaty back there out of shield. Just in the middle of the stage, just doing it's things. Fine. It's fine. It's <laughs> It'll cool. kill. It's no fine. one's interacting with any ducks yet. This is dumb. Oh, there was one kill, I guess, but it's probably accidental. <laughs> dumb. Ducks are fresher moves, guys. Hit the ducks with your moves. Not, obviously, if you're playing nameless and triple R, but you know, if you're playing a scrub, hit the ducks. <laughs> hit the ducks. The fresher moves. Practice on scaling. Watch the BB Smash Dude's video about move scaling, uh, if you don't know what we're talking about. So it's, ve it's very good, you know. Scaling is very important. Ooh, though, very just... close to dying there. Ooh. Triple R doing a very good job. Just keeping himself alive at 119 against Sheik on a stage with vertical glass things that are, you know, quite things to write, write home about. Oh, dang. Not a 50 to tier because 2 I percent. But Fair will get very close at this percent. Oh, gosh, I feel like Fair right here will kill. Um, it's okay. These, these really rock reads are really not working out. Not a single yeah. one yet. No. There was one that helped him get back to stage. But that was just a raw, like, I think yeah. I'm going to get you reading. I feel like it doesn't work when you are behind because you're not yeah. really, against yeah. a good player, they're not going to be rushing into the Right. Forward tilt not killing quite yet. Getting very close. I mean, we're done. Interesting that Triple R, the champion of the pancake, is not pancaking when, when Nameless Trucks doesn't win. He's at needle distance. I think Triple R feels pressure to get attacks in because he knows he's behind. Um, but at this point, getting attacks in, I mean, it's going to be hard to make up for a 120% deficit. Kirby of Rage is certainly scary, but nothing to write home about. Right, it's not the worst character to have for, Rage, for sure. Is he going to take advantage of it? No, nope. no from. Not yet. Wow. Now, is Duck Hunt sides, like, narrow, too? I thought they were a bit narrow, like, yes. map, though. Oh, Rock won't kill, but get very close. Ooh, very close. See, that was I believe, that it's, was a, I believe it's, a, it's a rarer square stage, or squarer stage, where mm -hmm. the yep. distance up and the distance to the sides are fairly similar. If you map it out, it's more like a square, mm -hmm. whereas Smashville is way more... Uh, rectangular. Yeah, rectangular, exactly. Or, or Battlefields are more rectangular, exactly. Check out Smash Boards, guys, for all the information on competitive stage size. Um, the competitive Smash Boards there are great. Really great people doing a lot of great work figuring out. Now that we have a fairly static... Oh, nice. Okay, we'll edge. Um, now that we have a fairly static seven-stage list, um, all the information on the stage is being found on there. You can get you some learning. 
Yeah, I saw that article. It was really informative. Um, oh, wow. I believe I read the one about FD. And you think, oh, it's FD. I know what it is. But flat stage also incorporates like a lot of like nuance, a lot of meta to it. So mm -hmm. it's important to check those out for sure. And check out character forums on Sonic Boards. Well, many kidding. useless. Many useless. Shout out to the Sonic, Sonic Boards. <laughs> All right, 1-1, one, one, going to FD. Speaking of FD, what do we need to know about FD, Jace? Um, so, FD. Um, I looks mean, like comfortable to walk. It does look good. There's Ooh, like still, lava okay. in the middle. I'm going to separate there and just say that this was great. This is a, a really great thing for Triple to land. A first forward tilt, especially at zero. She's a fast faller, and just like Hugo did in Mexico against Vinny, you can up tilt, up tilt, up tilt, get so many good follow-ups. 40 damage right off the bat. Triple R saying, last game was cute, but we're not going to retrieve it anymore. We're not in Treeville. This is Spaceville. Sorry, you were saying guys. So what do you know no, about No, I was just saying, um, with FD, I mean, the flat stage, like, anytime you have a character. Wow. Ooh, that was a beautiful. Oh, Nameless wow. knowing that people are going to try and go for the grab. It, it's a, you know, trip grab. Instead, wanted to neutral get up. It's more invincibility to neutral get up. But then H, that raw foot in face. Dying at 100. Just 100 flat. Another, I mean, Triple R taking him right to 40 so easily with these traps. Totally. It, yeah, this is a complete turnaround from game two. Almost gonna get lapped. Um, whatever. Fine. <laughs> Call it a commentary. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's up here. We're at a point now where, where Kirby is in 50-50 um, range. Because of Kirby's light size, this is the point where she can start down throwing and then soon yeah, maybe I'll do up B or up yeah. air like that. And up air connected in that case, uh, Triple R expecting an up B, but you know, it's not happening. Triple, I mean, R Kirby gets out of that, that uh, range fairly quickly, I believe, around 100. Uh, obviously, rage matters here, and there's you know, also plenty of rage. Ooh, ooh, going really deep, but it's Sheik, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> She Clap can go. <laughs> she can go to the like very diagonal. What does it matter? Oh, yeah, that's she's gonna come back. Oh, oh it's wait, gonna be no. a spike, and that's it. Game Ooh. two, Triple R. The nice. Sinibu special. We saw that plenty of times this summer at Smash LLs. Um, Triple R getting in, mm -hmm. down airing, footstooling, and that wasn't even footstool, but just down airing and getting yeah. Sheik right into the bottom blast zone. Um, kind of the one character who has that down air that does cover Sheik's options pretty well. Or at least well, it's safe enough. The thing is, that a lot of characters it's will safe, have a similar yeah. down air, but they don't have the cover to get back. Oh, and yeah, Kirby's yeah, vertical recovery yeah. isn't phenomenal, but he has multiple jumps that can do a lot and, and sort of navigate that way. Mix it up. His up is fairly quick. Lilat Cruz. Nameless picking it as a counter pick. Shout out to Jibuka for taking him here. Yeah. I, I like I like that he went uh, Lilat for this against Triple R. I feel like it's... I don't know. I just feel like it might work out better. Than well, Triple R didn't pick this. This was Nameless' counter pick. Right. Um, that's and right. I th against and Triple I R. I think that this is... Yeah, I think this is a really great anti-Kirby stage. Yes. Um, though, as we just saw, down air does reach Sheik with the platform. So that is actually to be scared of. Um, Kirby's down air is a really good style attack. You know, hot canceling and all that, but if you can reach a, pl a character through the platform, that's actually really scary. Oh, oh there it is! Oh, no. Nope. Oh. Avoided the footstool. <laughs> and, uh, Where did Sheik too. footstool there? I don't know. I, think I was maybe. looking for the Kirby footstool because yeah. they're so used to the bubble bottom. Yeah, you know. regardless, since he didn't get footstool, he Sheik, so he comes back. Yep. Down smash, not really gonna happen. Neutral getup has so many late, um, frames of invincibility. Um, for most char for all characters, I believe, neutral getup only has two frames of, of, of vulnerability before you can move, and Triple R trying to find that with the down smash. Yeah. Up smash will take it though. Tips of Kirby's feet, uh, shoes, feet. This is a constant debate. Feet. I'm gonna go with feet and not care. Um, I, I ooh, forward it. Okay. Oh, oh, that was interesting because the forwarder could have, the forwarder could have stuffed him right into the blast zone again. Nameless going to really hungry yeah. and up B reads again. This is something he did in your match um, a number of times. Once he was behind, trying really hard. <gasps> oh, oh, Trump, Trump, Trump nice. here. Got the best. <gasps> oh my okay. god. All right, okay. <laughs> Triple R now bringing out the camera, feeling fairly confident. Yeah, here we go. Again, he's the beast standing up, getting ready for his grand finals. <laughs> Just like, oh, here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> no, Kirby. Kirby, 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 Kirby's name is Snow. Oh, so fair. I wonder if Triple R should go uh, north or pick up in Falcon for his grand finals. I would really like to just see something different, you know, just for the for the fun of it. That's true. That would be really interesting. Up, oh. not counting in though. I mean, I'm sort of making the assumption that he's dead, but you know, just could, oh, she, yeah. she has phenomenal evasion. This could go to game five very easily. Um, ooh, that should have been a down smash, but since it wasn't, this is not uh, not game. Close is, and not the end of game four. I don't like the hammer here. The hammer doesn't really exactly do anything yeah, in Sheik. You just pop in, bounce a fish, call it alive. It's not, you can't really shuck yeah, it. Yeah, it's hype, but sometimes you gotta just go for a more optimal option. 
he has a full stock. I understand the rationale. Go for the cool kill. Sort of put fear into the heart of the person, but it's cheap. Yeah. Down B exists. It is incredibly unfair, but it exists. Triple R. Wow. Rolls Getting in. caught by an up E read. That was very Felton. Shout out to Felton <laughs> uh, for that for that uh, ridiculous display right there. Granted, of course, probably no one does it, but a very Felton thing to do. I mean, it was a good option. It seemed like a frustrated thing to do, sort of like, ah, oh, here, have a puppy. Yeah. But it worked out, wow. so whatever. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I exhaust all my options. Sheik's invincibility during that move is insane, and so it's, I mean, it's not safe, of course. It's funny of any kind, but it's a great idea. Just check it out. Well, and again, it's a Up throw my kill here. Okay. Yes, it will. There we go. That's it. Shout out to Kirby Up throw buffs in the last patch. Nameless taking third as seated. Mm -hmm. For the record. As Ooh, seated. on point. Let's go. And so the seating here, for those of you who want a seating update, Dom of the Cause taking fourth was predicted. Or fifth, sorry. Was predicted. Nameless getting four. Uh, no. Chipka. Chipka beat Dom of the Cause. Okay, yep. no. So Dom of the Cause got fifth. He was seated fourth. I lied. And here we are, right into winner's final, or right into grand finals. Sam, tell him to hold up. Jeez. We're running right in. Sam didn't even got a chance to update the wiki yet. No, oh, no. So I said this before, and I'll say it again. Shoutouts to Ganon's hair. Shout out to Ganon's hair. Look at it. It's it's. Gorgeous. All right. Chat says that that Randall easy, should go cloud. Easy, Hold up. Randall, Randall. Chat says to go cloud. It's easy, Vine. Everyone has a cloud. All right. Now that now that coaching's done. Um, good coaching. Good coaching. We ban it, except them. Except when we're telling. Well, it's in between sets. It, hold on, no, hold on. It's in between sets. Oh, okay. And it was okay. go cloud, which isn't coaching. Coaching no. is yeah. when you give useful advice. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I, w I was gonna say it's okay as long as you tell someone to play cloud. That's the one. Exception. That's the one coach.